As you gather for the Fifth World Water Forum in Istanbul this week, I extend my greetings and wishes for a productive exchange of ideas in the days ahead. I thank the organizers for allowing me to offer a few words. I think there's nothing more essential to human life than water. In my travels as a United States Senator, I've seen the challenges of water insecurity firsthand in places as diverse as Haiti, Jordan, Bolivia, and Cyprus. Many parts of the United States are facing serious water shortages as well. From one legislator to another, I really commend you for your commitment to finding solutions to the world's water crisis. In the developing world today, unsafe water and poor sanitation threaten human health, economic development, and food security, among other priorities. A developing economy cannot grow if its people are too busy collecting water or too sick to work or go to school. Its women cannot move forward in society if they spend their days moving water. We can't begin to solve the problems of global hunger and poverty without addressing the water crisis. As part of, part of the U.S. commitment to global development, the United States should help to lead an effort to bring safe water and sanitation to the poor people of this world. As we mark World Water Day this week, I'm introducing legislation in the United States Senate in Washington to help us move closer to this goal. The goal of the Water for the World Act is to reach 100 million people for the first time with sustainable access to safe drinking water and sanitation by the year 2015. This legislation would foster global cooperation on research and technology development, including regional partnerships like those you'll be discussing in Istanbul this week among the experts on clean water. In the spirit of this World Water Forum's theme, Bridging Divides for Water, I want to work in partnership to build a world in which people of all countries have access to clean water. Throughout history, civilized nations have put aside political differences to address compelling issues of life and survival. Our generation owes the world nothing less. On behalf of my colleagues in the United States Senate, I congratulate you on your commitment to water. I look forward to working with you in the months and years ahead to help solve the global water crisis together.